In this lecture, we will see how the information are displayed uh, on the ultrasonic equipment. So first, the A-scan method. The ultrasonic A-scan present one-dimensional data showing the response along the beam path at the specific location of the test object. Such scans can produce detailed information about uh, discontinuities and the scanned material. The depth of the discontinuities is indicated by the time of flight as measured from uh, the time base on the, of the display screen. The size of the dis discontinuity can be estimated from uh, the amplitude of the reflected signal. The type of discontinuity can be determined by analysis uh, of the amplitude and phase information. The A-scan method is the most widely used uh, and can be displayed on most standard ultrasonic instrument. So you can see on this animation, we place the probe, we direct the beam on the defect, and we get this presentation, which is the amplitude distance. So you have the travel distance on the x-axis and the amplitude of uh, the signal on the y-axis. The second method is the B-scan. With the ultrasonic B-scan, the test object is scanned along one axis to produce a presentation of its uh, cross-section. The location along the scanning path is shown on the x-axis and the time of light values are shown along the y-axis. Because the cross-section is produced, the B-scan is not uh, used where large volumes of material must be inspected. The B-scan is uh, popular for medical diagnosis where cross-sectional views are uh, very useful. In medical applications, the angular manipulation of uh, the transducer is monitored to prevent image uh, distortion and uh, the display is adjusted to account for change in the beam angle along the cross-section of uh, the examined area. The ultrasonic C-scan is applied uh, to the test object in a, a raster pattern and present a view of uh, the discontinuities area as seen from above. Discontinuity location and size data are available uh, from changes in amplitude as function of position. These are displayed on a screen or recorded on a paper. Modern C-scan systems uh, use computers to control the transducer position and uh, to acquire display document and store the uh, results. So you can see an example of a raster scan on this animation and this is what we get in the screen. So the x-axis indicates the location and the y-axis indicates the time of flight or the amplitude of the signal. Here is an example that uh, illustrates the three scans, the A-scan, B-scan and C-scan. You can see on the A-scan the amplitude as function of time and the cross-sectional view on the B-scan and the top view on the C-scan presentation.